So Ridge Road, Ridge County against Aston Villa in the Premier League in season five, our second season in the Premier League. Gyoza into the box and a header over the bar. It's County start with intent. Another attack but thwarted and Villa break shot from distance but that is wide Vititi to Somerville squared to Christensen Alberto lays it off Castaldine shot and deflection Put back heel into the box and away Christensen Giorza back to Somerville and a header saved looping looping under the bar potentially Villa's free kick deflected and half time is nil nil so we've had more of the chances in the first half Villa were tough they were um, very strong in the challenge again I think we've uh, had that before from Villa shading the possession Villa did and Villa get us underway left to right in the second half strong in the challenges again Villa Trying to pressure and close them down, but they're spreading the ball about at the back. And you can see their strikers, the big gap between, you know, where this, their front players were and the rest of their team in their own half. And uh, good save there. And then we get this free kick from Castle Dean. He strikes a beauty. About 25 yards that was. Or well, 25 meters, and Castle Dean's left foot does the damage and gives Woods County the lead against Aston Villa in the 64th minute. Very good, good free kick over the wall. In she goes. Villa now. Looking to respond, deflected shot, skewing off the defender there, and the resulting corner away, not away enough, but the shot was hopeful and wide. Lawson brings the ball forward, the county. That is to Christensen, but there's not much behind that, and it's lacking the direction as well. In the end, it was uh, there's not enough on it from that range, harmlessly wide. But that is the three points in the bag as the referee calls time on that. Castle Dean's left foot free kick separating the sides. Three points for Ridge County, very nice. You can see there, Villa really shaded the possession, and it was almost even Stevens on the shot count. Castle Dean gets man of the match. So 1 0 for us, couple of ball draws Palace, Everton, Southampton, Watford, Arsenal 2 2 0 winners, Brighton and Wolves 1 1. Two goals apiece for Manchester United and Chelsea. Tottenham win 2 0, Newcastle win 1 0, Leicester win 2 0, and a ball draw there as well. We are third in the table at the moment. Not many games gone, only five, so it doesn't really mean anything. But that is the table for now after five games. And we are away at Arsenal. Arsenal get us underway left to right. Alberto with a shot. Keeper dives but his outstretched arm sees the ball go wide. Arsenal now. 
play it around at the back a bit. They were very strong in the challenge Arsenal. This was a very, very competitive, highly competitive match between these two sides. Uh, shot deflected from the keeper and away. My PlayStation misses some footage there so it looks a bit odd. But you take Alberto and that is 1-0 to Ridge County. Manic Maniac's happy with that. I think it was Somerville's ball to Alberto. And he goes to congratulate him, so I think it was. Somerville, yeah. Little ball into Alberto, drop of the shoulder. And a goal. Nice finish. Just drops the shoulder, fools the defender, steals it a little bit of space, and in she goes. 1 0 at half time. Well done, boys. Pretty even Stevens all round. Left to right Ridge County in the second half. County defend that cross. And Castle Dean breaks. And plays a ball to Alberto who gets in front of his man and across him. And it is 2-0. Alberto slots it home. Medic Maniac delighted with that. Alberto spreads himself and dives on the grass. Mobbed by his teammates. Another brace for Yuri Alberto. Great ball from Castle Dean. Alberto had the pace and the strength. To get in front of his defender. And stay in front and take control and take charge of the situation. And then a composed finish. Past Onana, Hexridge County player Onana, in previous playthroughs gone by. But it is Arsenal nil, Ridge County 2, a brace from Yuri Alberto seals the points for County. Doing very well in these early stages of the league so far. No surprise that Yuri Alberto is man of the match there. So 2-0 win for Ridge County, 0-0 between Villa and Palace, Everton win 3-1, Leicester win 4-0, uh, Wolves win 3-0, Chelsea with a 1-0 win, Liverpool, Manchester United win all, Tottenham win 4-2, Bournemouth win 4-1 and West Ham win 1-0 as well. And then we played Newcastle in the FA Cup and this match was awful. And, and I mean it. It's a, a free kick by... Newcastle which struck, he got unlucky with that, very unlucky, you'll see that, just bounced down off the, off the uh, bar, but didn't go in, very unlucky, very good free kick, so Newcastle might be a goal ahead, but you know, for fortune, favouring us there, I think, cross coming in, and a header saved, and a decent save there, from Alberto's head. Check back. Ball in. Alberto rises above the Newcastle defenders. Powers a header at goal. But parried by the keeper. Yeah this, this match was awful. It was doing things that just weren't right. Ball across. Good save by Carl Felt. And you'll see some of the things. That I mean a bit, a bit later. But I wasn't impressed with this match. Uh, missed there from Castle D. Ball forward. Alberto onto it. Lays it off to Somerville. Picks out Castle D. And just brushes the side netting. On its way past but wide. Christensen now. But that is time. In the first half. Of a very full-on match. 
uh, that the AI programming was doing things that just were not right. Ridge County with 73% possession there. Now I missed the start of the first of the second half because I'd re been recording some of the things that weren't right. So the start of the second half was not in my 15 minutes of footage captured. And uh, that little bit there was one of the things that I wasn't happy with. So that's what we start the second half with. But uh, ball across. And in the end, shot comes in. So the first shot, parried by the keeper and away. Headed away and then shot comes in from Christensen. And that is wide. Newcastle coming forward. And a shot from them wide. It was action packed this game, but this is one of the things that I didn't like. Look at this. So the ball ricochets off a player and goes over there, and Yuri Alberto gives chase, and the Newcastle player Longstaff gives chase. Now, Yuri Alberto's number nine, Longstaff's number 36. You can plainly see that on their shirts. And they were like stride for stride. So I went into the menu and I had a look at my number 9 and their number 36. So there's Alberto and Longstaff and you can see the speed and the acceleration stats. Now Longstaff was matching and outpacing Alberto. That is wrong and that's Pez cheating. How you can have this as an eSport when stats are broken like that at the behest of an AI program is beyond me. If you have a stats-based game, stats should and must mean something. Otherwise, don't have a stat-based game. That's ridiculous. You can see Longstaff outpacing Alberto. You can see it in slow motion. It's ridiculous and it's wrong. Fix your game, Konami. Just fix your game. There's loads of proof that your, your AI program breaks stats. That's just wrong, and this match was awful as a result. Somerville picks out Arcas for a 1-0 lead, and I was very happy with that because the game was cheating, so I was like very, very happy. You don't like losing when the game is blatantly breaking its own parameters that it sets the player. So I was very, very happy when Arcas slotted home Somerville's pick out there. It was nicely worked to get the ball to Arcas and then it was a good finish a very accurate finish from Arcas just inside the post so I was very happy with that but Newcastle went close again and we, we just took no prisoners hacked it away and then Arcas had a free kick from about 21 metres and he put the ball into the net over the wall right foot he picked out the court top corner which you can see here beautiful free kick from Arcas so he's had a good game goal from free play and a goal from a set piece and then we had a 30 yard free kick and I have scored from 30 yards with Arcas before but I just got too much power on that and um I can direct it as a result so that was that was wayward but that is the that is the win in the FA Cup we're through to the next round in a very unenjoyable very broken um, program fix your game Konami just fix it I've showed proof after proof after proof that you break and bend the rules to suit your needs in the name of difficulty well that's not difficulty Go look up the dictionary definition of difficulty, and it's not that. There are the results from the FA Cup. You may pause and peruse at your leisure. Lots of goals going in. But we're through to the next round. And there is the FA Cup tree. And uh, you'll be able to follow who we see. Take care. We'll see you soon.